One of the claims that is splitting our culture down the middle is that there is nothing but propaganda, essentially. You just think the propaganda on your side is the truth because it serves your purposes to believe that. It's very, very important to make a distinction between propaganda and education. Now, you had two different kinds of classes. One of them you describe as opening yourself up and the other you describe as being preached at. What's the difference there? Well, let me give you an example. The course I was thinking about in my mind was a course called Topics in Middle East Studies. So it's the entire region of the Middle East for going back thousands of years in a general 101 course. It was part of a requirement if you wanted to continue on in the major. Here's what you had to accept, that the sole sort of source of maladies in what I think we all can agree is a very complicated and blood-soaked region of the world are all the result of essentially European or American colonialism, that everything goes back to that core idea Things like, let's say in India, widow burning could be connected to colonialism. Even things like honor killing could be connected to colonialism. Everything had to do with this sort of one lens with which okay, you could so, understand okay, an so extremely an complicated thing. And then everything was just sort of driving toward the political view of the professor that was teaching the course. Whereas I'm thinking about an intellectual history class that I took. I didn't really know what my professor thought.